from the local station, New Fort Jax starts now. I'm not scared of many people, but she was, she was definitely just so, you know, angry and explosive, just with the slightest things. Speaking out about the only suspect who may know where a missing Nassau County mother may be. Co-workers describing the strange and disturbing behaviors of Jennifer Seibert. Seibert is the last person to have seen 34-year-old Jolene Cummins alive. 11 days after she disappeared, investigators say evidence leads them to believe that she's dead. But they're not giving up hope on bringing her home. Cummings and Seibert were working together at Tangle's Hair Salon in Yuli the day she was last seen. The owner of the salon has released this statement tonight, saying... The world is full of evil, but many of us never expected to hit so close as this has. We have and will continue to pray for her family and for closure for them. Cybert, whose real name is Kimberly Kessler, has lived a double life for years using a fake address, passport, and social security number, according to police. Kessler was actually reported missing in Pennsylvania back in 2004, never to be found. News for Jack's reporter Corley Peel is live outside the Tangles Hair Salon with alarming recollections from former co-workers who say Cybert always seemed to be on the edge, like she was hiding something, Corley? Tariq, they all seem to say the same thing about Jennifer Seibert. They say that she had a short temper and that she had very unusual behavior. You can see that loved ones have left a memorial here for Jolene Cummings. They're wondering what happened between the two inside the salon. As this client gets her hair cut by Jennifer Seibert at the Tangles Hair Salon, she didn't realize it would be the last time and that Seibert would be named the suspect in her co-worker Jolene Cummings' disappearance a week later. Hi. Hi, little chica. All right, so I'm going to take... News for Jax has learned Seibert has worked at four different places in six months. Some of her former co-workers describe her as erratic and explosive. I was very surprised to hear it, but um, only in the sense that, wow, you know, I mean, um, that's a horrible thing to hear, but I knew something was odd with her anyway because she always seemed to be hiding from something when she was here. And she said it as, a, as an ex that she you know, was, um, was being stalked by. So I just thought maybe that's why she came in and had her hair in wigs and was always like she was really watching her back and going by different names. <laughs> She just couldn't work with the clients. She would get angry at them. They, you know, said she did something wrong, and we'd have to intervene. Um, she didn't work well with any of the other stylists there. News for Jax learned Seibert, whose real name is Kimberly Kessler, was reported missing in 2004. Her sister told her News for Jax I team, quote, I don't know what's going on. I feel like I don't even know her. She's basically a stranger to me. No doubt fit, because I wouldn't put that past her whatsoever. Those with any information about Jolene's disappearance is urged to call the Nassau County Sheriff's Office. Reporting live from Nassau County, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.